hello, I'm back again, and today I want to have a quick chat about a new perfume from Victor and Wolf. Now this is called a Flower Bomb Dew, and I have to say, I like Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I think it's really pretty. I do think it's probably my favorite of the kind of very commercial fragrances. Um, I just think it's really pretty. It's really wearable. It's very pretty and floral. And I think they've done a really good job of it. It's not, it's not too sweet, sickly and sexy. It's a bit more floral and elegant, which I really like. Um, I think it's a really pretty perfume. However, what drew me to this perfume is the fact that it's a flower bomb dew and it's got a lot of rose accords in. So I just dropped, I just dropped my cheat sheet on the floor. I'm gonna bend down and pick it up and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. I'm so professional. <laughs> anyway, I have the official description. Delicate drops of floral dew freshness on new skin. Flower bomb dew seamlessly melts onto fresh skin, enveloping the senses with dewy rose accord, sensual iris concentrate, and intimate musks, creating a glowing floral sensation. With this new chapter debuts a light, sensual yet powerful dew mist that applies as a delicate and natural second skin that naturally accentuates and complements. Um, so that is how it's described and this is the bottle as you can probably see it's like kind of a matte white bottle with a silver plaque on the front now <laughs> it did have the classic flower bomb sticky out thing and i opened up the box and it had broken off so i do have it but it's broken off i don't know if that's just me again being clumsy dropping things Possibly, but I would say do be careful. Just, if you are clumsy like me, you wanna be careful because, well, I've broken a mine and I haven't even sprayed it yet. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is actually a first impressions video. So I'm gonna give it a mist. Okay. So in this perfume, there's Dewy Rose, there is iris and there is musk yeah there is definitely a really rose like floraliness there is a real touch of green in there which is really pretty there is a touch of like an aquatic kind of dewy feel to it as for the iris that kind of has a vintage twist it's really pretty there is definitely a kind of a vintagey accord in there which is really pretty and then I would say there's a lot of musk. It's got that real, it's actually, I think for a flower bomb, it's quite a flirty flower bomb. Flirtier than I would have expected. And also it's got quite a caramelly accord to it too. I would say there's a real sense of like caramel, prowling, prowling, prowline, prow, you know the one I mean where it's, you know, that prowliney thingy, but there's a real sense of that kind of like delicious, caramelly prowling kind of vibe there is definitely a sweetness there's definitely quite a playful sexiness possibly too caramelly for my personal taste i love my roses just to be all rose i just love it to be rose 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 and this is a little bit too sweet and caramelly for me however i would say it's really pretty it is really pretty it's just for me, I think it's a little bit too caramelly. It would make me hungry all the time. Not a bad thing, but it's just a little bit too sweet and caramelly, but it is, it's really pretty. Like I can, I think a lot of people will love this, but I think for me, it's just a little, just a touch too sweet. I don't generally like sweet fragrances. I know that's very unusual, but um, yeah, they're just not quite for me. I like something a little bit more masculine. However, I will say that that kind of like real vintage irisy dustiness, which is really pretty. I love that. I love the rose. The rose is really pretty. It's really dewy. There's a greenness to it. There's like a freshness to it. It's really pretty. I do like the roseness. I love the irisness, but I think there's just a little bit too much sweetness for my personal taste. I feel like if I wore this with kind of like an oud, 
it might give me everything I want. Like it might balance sweetness with the smokiness and then it would give me all those gorgeous rose accords and the iris accord and then I think it would be a lot more me. However, I think this is, I think this is gonna be a real winner for a lot of people. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Mongolan. I think it reminds me of Mongolan. Kind of reminds me of YSL, Black Opium. But I have to say it's really pretty. I love the rose, I love the iris, possibly a little bit too caramelly for me. I will probably wear this with, um, I don't know, something else. Maybe, maybe some oud, maybe some more woodsy smoky notes, probably a nice oud. I think then it would be really pretty because you'd get the sweetness with the spice, with the smoke, with the roses, and then I think it will be like much more me. But I have to say, this is really pretty. If you like Flower Bomb, but you want something a little bit more sweet and sexy, I think this one could be for you. If you are looking for a more floral Flower Bomb, I don't think this is for you. I would say stick to the classic Flower Bomb because let's be honest, it's beautiful. And there's a child crying outside. Oh well, I'm nearly done. Let's be honest, I'm kind of wrapping this bad boy up anyway. Anyway, so that's my video. This is brand new. I will link it below if you would like to buy it. Like I said, be careful if you drop it because uh, you will break it. And um, yeah, it's really pretty. Rose, iris, musk, and kind of like a caramel note. It's really pretty. It's brand new. It's out now. I hope you like my video. Thank you so much for watching. Also, I'm in my new filming space. Not really out of choice, more because we're on lockdown and um, I'm having to be a bit more inventive with where I film. So I hope you like my backdrop. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Have a lovely afternoon. Goodbye.